Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another airbrush and paint review video. Zurich is a established and very popular paint brand in Southeast Asia, manufactured in the Philippines, lacquer based and ready to pour immediately with only lacquer thinner requiring for cleanup. We'll be doing our usual test on spoons and a kit surface to test factors such as pigment density, layering, notes via the airbrush and masking. Thoroughly testing the primer last week, we found the bottles are made out of plastic and safely ship with a wrap around it, a ball bearing inside and a very handy eyedropper nozzle and the correct viscosity to apply evenly without too much effort. Utilizing the white first, we're able to achieve a very thin line and the gradient immediately without further adjustment. And painting a spoon, it has just a here on without a primer. White and yellow colors, anything light is renowned for being very light in pigment and translucent. The black and grey stripes has very minimal bleed through or shadowing yet does leave the paint slightly dirtied if you're to apply directly on black. Overall not too bad at all. This is also showcased in the yellow. With correct undercoat and surface preparation directly on the white spoon, the colour is very rich and vibrant. This is in line if not superior to mainstream brands. I find the application seems to be wet and very smooth, lacking splatter or even orange peel and it is my guess that there is an added bonus of a leveling or retardant agent added. If applied heavily or in a wet coat you are greeted with a lovely gloss sheen wet look. However, the dry time is a lot slower than many other lacquers. It may take more than a day until it can be dry to the touch. A challenge for those who are impatient or wishing to mask or handle surfaces. Zurich also has a very large line of metallics with a chunky pigment that metalizes into a fairly smooth surface and this gunmetal is already quite a favorite of mine. I find with the pigment density that application goes a fair long way where I'm able to cover quite a bit of plastic with a fair amount of paint. Going to the second step of pigment density, I've got this no grade that's half painted with primer and the other half its Bandai plastic counterpart, you can see where the red is, it's leached dye quite heavily changing the colour, though the consistency between the white and the grey primer is almost adequate. Applying tape one hour after application with dry coats, I have not damaged or lifted any of the paint. After a few hours to a day drying, you get scratch and wear resistance expected for assembling gunpla. If you apply it wet as such with this image, it's impossible to touch or handle until thoroughly dried after a 24 to 48 hour period. A quick note, I find that Bandai Red Plastic does have a dye that separates and bleeds into all sorts of paint. The only way to shield against that is a neutral primer and to spray over that. This is an issue that is also suffered with major brands of paint. Now going into the overall review and finish opinion of Zurich, as a paint it's another lacquer paint that just happens to dry a lot slower. It has a decent range of colors, some of them sold as sets as gradients and the manufacturer is flexible enough to release custom sets or special orders of colors. Uh, flesh tones and others are slowly coming in and out. As a airbrush ready, this is an absolute fantastic product and alternative for beginners. It gives you ease of pouring and returning and it's just convenient of having the right factors of viscosity, application and slow dry that beginners do not have to necessarily manipulate until they develop more experience or wish to stay within this medium for the duration of their career in the hobby. 
if all you want to do is pour the paint in, spray it and clean it out without hassle or second thought, this product is exactly for you, not complicated. Thank you very much for watching as always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. We're going to be moving on to the metallic tests next time and then finishing up with the clear matte and specialties like candy and pearls. We're putting the entirety of the range which is uh, sponsored to the test heavily. Catch you guys next time.